something is afoot. I suspect foul play. Yes! They just don't make them like this anymore, guys. But Ryan Johnson just did, and it is unbelievable. I love it so much. Where do you go after directing the best Star Wars film? That is the dilemma that Ryan Johnson was faced with. And the answer to that was you write and direct a classic murder mystery whodunit film in the vein of Agatha Christie's Clue. This movie is absolutely sensational. Knives Out is a completely original film. It is not based on a pre-existing book, story, or real-life case, which means that because it is a completely original story, it's kind of hard to get into the details about the movie without giving out clues, which would then lead to the audience possibly solving the mystery before you even watch the movie, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I am just going to tell you the answer to the question that everybody came here for. Is the movie good? Yes, the movie is fantastic. It's one of the year's best films. It is my favorite movie of the year. It is absolutely worth your time. Look, Knives Out is incredible, okay? It is one of the most airtight screenplays I have seen in a long time. This is absolutely genius writing by Ryan Johnson. Every single thing in this movie is pretty much perfect. All of the characters are interesting and all of them have a motivation to do what was done in the movie, okay? Every single one of them is a suspect. And yet, the way that the movie is structured as the PI, played by Daniel Craig, interrogates them and they tell their stories and they sort of just, you know, embellish the truth or just flat out lie, we actually get to see what actually happened. So the movie lets the audience in on the secret. So we feel like we know what's actually going on. Another great thing about this movie is that it contains Ryan Johnson's signature technique of subversion. There are several points throughout the movie, if you have seen a whodunit or a murder mystery film before, where Ryan Johnson will lead you down a path of a very familiar narrative beat. And to the point where that narrative beat feels formulaic or just conventional, like, oh, I've seen this before, this is probably what's going to happen, only for at the last second, Ryan Johnson pulls the rug out from under you and says, actually, what if that didn't happen? Or what if this happened instead? To the point where it's done so many times and so effectively that you question, is he allowed to do that? The great thing about Knives Out, specifically in terms of its narrative and story structure, is that while most murder mystery films sort of follow a good guy trying to solve the crime and include a suspect or suspects that may be guilty of the crime, Knives Out also allows you to follow the same person who's trying to undermine that very same investigation. Knives Out lets you in on the perspective of the PI, the main protagonist played by Anna de Armas, and the character who is trying to undermine the investigation. That's clever. That's something that's never been done before. Ryan Johnson takes a very unique angle with this movie and it is very, very exciting. Okay, look, it goes without saying that this movie has a stellar cast. Everybody is in it. Daniel Craig, Tony Collette, Jamie Lee Curtis, Chris Evans. Everybody is in the movie. It's fantastic. They're all great. But you know what? Let me tell you right now. Daniel Craig deserves a Best Supporting Actor nomination at the Academy Awards because he is unbelievable in this movie. He is just chewing the scenery every time he's on screen. And it may not work for some people because on one hand, his character is a little bit cartoony. He's kind of, you know, an over the top archetype PI. 
but he does it in such a way that if it works for you, it's going to land so well and you're going to be hanging on his every word. Craig's performance is fantastic and, in my opinion, very, very deserving of an awards nomination. Anna de Armas plays the lead in this film named Marta and she is the heart and soul of this film and she carries the movie in terms of its emotional weight and boy she is quickly becoming one of Hollywood's best leading ladies. Of course Anna de Armas is not a new actress to Hollywood. She's been in pretty great films such as Blade Runner 2049 but in this movie she is the center of it and she is the heart of the movie. I know I repeated that, but you will understand what I mean when you watch this film because she really, really carries it and leads it to the ultimate message of the film, which I think is a message that we really need during a time like this. Another actor who really stands out is Chris Evans. Chris Evans does a fantastic job, and I understand Chris Evans is probably taking these roles in original movies because he's trying to shake the image of being Captain America for the rest of his life, but he is amazing in this movie. He's so charismatic, unsurprising, but he is so good and charismatic, and you just want more of him every time he's on screen. But everybody in this movie is spectacular. Jamie Lee Curtis, ah, just, just perfect. Michael Shannon, great. Everybody in this movie does such a good job. It is unbelievable. And obviously a big part of that is Ryan Johnson's direction as he continues to prove that he is one of the best and most creative and ambitious directors working in Hollywood. His direction is incredible in this movie. The camera work is dynamic and exciting. The blocking, the scene composition, it's all so good and interesting. So much of this movie is said through visual shorthand and just cinematic language. It is absolutely thrilling. I love it, okay? It is the best thing. It is so good. Now, here is the big thing about Knives Out. While it is a murder mystery film and a classic whodunit, like I've said, it is also very, very funny, which makes it a very good movie to see this time of year. You know what? The holidays, yes, it's time to spend time with the family, but sometimes you want to get away from them and sometimes they kind of annoy you. So you know what? Watch Knives Out. I guarantee you, you'll laugh. You'll have a good time. This movie is hilarious. There is a lot of political comedy in this movie, and all of it lands. All of it lands. It is hilarious. There is jabs at both sides, and it's pretty hilarious. Obviously, I found the stabs at the right-wing conservatives much more funny, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. But look, the comedy is hilarious, all of it lands, especially the delivery by some of the actors. It's just so brilliant that the direction and the performances combined make this movie so, so special. And I just love it so much. Look, here's the thing, guys. Knives Out is interesting, it's compelling, it's well-directed, it's well-written, it's well-made, and this is just absolutely masterful visual storytelling by Ryan Johnson. I highly recommend this movie to everyone. It is one of the year's best films, and it is my favorite movie of the year so far. I cannot recommend this enough, okay? Look, I like crime films, I like detective stories, yes, but even if that was not my personal favorite style of filmmaking, this would still be one of, if not the best movie of the year so far. So again, I highly recommend it. It is a great time. If you want to tell me how wrong I am because you're still salty about The Last Jedi being better than any of the original trilogy, then you know what? Feel free to comment and, you know, do whatever it is you got to do. Because the fact is, everyone who's not an asshole knows this movie is good and we're rooting for Ryan Johnson. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Knives out. Knives out. Go see it.